Let's take a look at a time and belt in action. Now what does a time and belt do? Well, it creates a choreographed dance between the camshaft, the valves, and the piston. And I can show it to you right here in our trainer. What's happening is the time and belt's going around, and when the time and belt's going around, hence the name timing, it's keeping the engine in time, the camshaft to the crankshaft. And you can see the piston's going up and down, and the valves are all moving at the right time. The intake's opening, the exhaust's opening, and everything's going just as it should go. Now, I wanna talk about two types of engines. There's an interference engine, and an interference engine is where the valve will hit the piston if it's not in time. And there's a freewheeling engine, which it wouldn't matter. The valves have enough clearance. But if you have an interference engine, and most of us do on today's cars, you gotta be careful. Because you may be running at 3,000 RPM, and that time and belt breaks, that's gonna be catastrophic damage. Now what I'm gonna do, I don't recommend you do it at home, but I wanna show it to you. I'm just gonna reach over here, and I'm gonna cut this time and belt clean off this motor. Well, what happened? Just took it out of time. So what's gonna happen is the piston comes up, one of these valves may be open. So what's gonna go on is the piston comes up, if this valve was in the open position, whammo, it's gonna hit the piston. Once it hits the piston, something has to give. The valve's gonna bend, the rod's gonna bend, something's gonna break. And you may end up with something like this. This actually broke the timing belt and the valve was stuck in the piston. Well, we cut that belt, so we need to head over and time this engine. Well, because we cut the belt off, we need to re-time this engine. But before we do, I'll show you a few components that the timing belt runs. Down here is the crankshaft, and then the crankshaft, it comes up here to the water pump. Well, we said earlier, it may drive the water pump. On this model, it does. All the work taking all these components off the front, go ahead and change the water pump out while you're down there. Then you come up here through a tensioner. This is a manual tensioner, and then it comes up and it drives the actual camshaft right here. But before we put our belt on, we need to do a couple things. The first thing I want to do is loosen up the tensioner. Remember, we cut our belt off, so we need to get that loose where we can put the belt on. Then I'm gonna come down here and I already put the crankshaft in time. You see these two marks right here? The crankshaft has to be in time with the camshaft. So I'm gonna take my belt, I'm gonna work it on the crankshaft first. Once I get it in the crankshaft, make sure it's in the teeth of the crankshaft and also make sure you look at your tooth. Some are round, some are square, make sure they match the pulleys. Come over to the water pump. I'll get it on the water pump and then I'm gonna come around the tensioner. But before I time the camshaft, I have to make sure that these marks are in order. Check your service manual, find some information to find out where these timing marks are because we talked about that choreographed dance between the piston and the valves, the camshaft and the crankshaft. This is what's causing it. I come around here and then just slip it on. Make sure it stays. Make sure your marks are in order. Then you want to come over, put a little tension on it and go ahead and tighten up your tensioner. Now, the most important thing you can do after you get it on there is turn the engine over by hand. Turn it over at least 720 degrees, four stroke cycle, because you're turning it over by hand, you have no chance of bending the valves. If all of a sudden it stops, it's out of time. You're hitting one of those valves. Well, we got timing systems down. We got belts down. We're going to go ahead and look at some lines and hoses as soon as we come back with more Tech Garage presented by Advanced Auto Parts.